So the next one, what do you think of when he was saying he wants to end your guys' playoff push? That's fine. Right? Yeah. You come try. You come try. <laughs>
having AD and LeBron and Darvin Ham and you know going through so many people where Pat Bev don't feel like he could be heard properly because if Pat Bev doesn't has a if Pat Bev doesn't have his voice much like Draymond Green you take their voice away and they are impacting the team to take on the identity of them as defenders and on a competitive level then they lose their edge and they are less valuable to a team I feel like Pat Bev is suited for younger teams that have talent that's able to go out and make plays but they don't have their identity like it was perfect anthony edwards is not a leader yet so it was good that he was there last year cat's not a leader you know their best their most talented offensive players aren't leaders and if you go to um chicago has sort of the same problem i mean even back like you could say demar derozan kind of takes on a leadership role but i don't feel like he was thinking back to his Toronto days and I feel like Cal Lowry was more of the leader just due to the fact that DeRozan was praising LeBron while they were in a series and saying he couldn't beat him and nobody can beat him I could win if LeBron was on my team too so he was looking he was already looking at the opponent being greater than him and you can know it without saying it you know because what's the rest of the team gonna think when you say that the opponent you have no chance against them so I wouldn't say that he's a leader. Zach Levine, you know, again, he would have benefited from if he was still in Minnesota and he would have been there when Pat Bev came. But he's on Chicago too. Again, talented players, but no leadership, no identity on how they want to play. So Pat Bev has helped them with that some. some and I think they have the Lakers back to back or – is it a game between i know they play what tomorrow sunday and they play in chicago wednesday so i think the bulls are in 10th right now and the lakers are in ninth. so these games are pivotal and we will be looking to see how this turns out because it's going to have playoff implications man and it's a little chatter to go with it so let me know what you think in the comments man was lebron clapping at steven jackson Mario Chalmers and Patrick Beverly. Was he clapping at all three? Was he clapping at one of them, two of them? Or was that just, you know, Pat Bev? Because you know Pat Bev's in there based off his comments. And Mario, the timing of it, Mario Chalmers is definitely um, getting some of that too. But I also feel like, you know, we hear the chatter. I feel like that's directed at Steven Jackson. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.